Welcome back to the Words from the Nerds podcast. Back in my original setting with my original <laughs> co-host, Charlie. How are you doing today? I am doing wonderful. It's another glorious day. New show to talk about. Last yeah. one for a while, unfortunately. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we will. We have our thoughts. That's yeah. for sure. We, <laughs> we have our thoughts. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm doing good. and excited to talk about Miss Marvel today, the finale. Yeah, Miss Marvel finale we got on our plate today um last mcu show i would say for a while but we literally have she hulk coming up in a month so um yeah we got a little month break after this and um yeah so (sighs) this show here's the thing this show has been kind of uh it's been kind of mixed you know and we've talked about it a lot you know the first three episodes banger 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 right and then (laughs) And then episode four and five, it was just kind of like, mm. um, I personally think the finale was was good. I, I loved it. I had a lot of fun with it. It brought back a lot of things that I loved from the first three episodes. Um, brought back all the family. You know, we got some more of her family as well as, you know, Bruno and uh, is it Nakia or is it Nadia? Nakia. Keep, Nakia. Okay. Because Nak- Nakia, um, there's another Nakia in the MCU. And, um, Nakia in the oh, I forget the tribe's name from Wakanda from black yeah from Wakanda yeah yeah black Panther, so yeah we have two Nakias and so I was like what anyways mm-hmm. we get Bruno and Nakia back a lot of elements that we loved from the first three episodes which is why I think it made this this finale so so good for me but at the same time like it is kind of rushed and that's that's all because of last uh last week's episode and everything so i don't know all around kind of a mixed show i think the finale and the first three episodes carry most of the show which for me in this moment gives it like a really high seven out of ten maybe a low eight um i i still absolutely loved it take the fourth and fifth episode out or, or, or rearrange them or do something um, and it makes this show so strong. But, you know, with, with those two dragging it down, it, it's hard to praise the show as much as we wanted to. You know, after the first yeah. episode, we said, like, if it keeps this up, like, this could be amazing. And, you know, fourth and fifth episode kind of dropped off. So, yeah, those are my kind of thoughts. I know you kind of felt more, you know, strongly about about this episode. So why don't you take it away? Yeah, this uh, I mean. I didn't dislike this episode, uh, but I just thought it was, it was good. Like it was satisfying. Um, I think you, you hit the nail on the head as far as whole series goes. Um, the last two before this one really just kind of brought it down, um, for, from what we were hoping and expecting from it. Um, and I, I, off the bat, I, I thought it was strange. I thought I was, in the minority because nobody had really been talking about this show the past like two weeks since Kenobi's been over. Um, nobody really cared. Uh, last week, I don't think there was any conversation about it at all, which granted Thor was coming up. So I know people were probably more focused on that, but, uh, then I, I wake up today and everybody's talking about it, (laughs) which I understand there are, there were some things and we'll get into those things that, uh, people were probably talking about more than, more than other things. Um, but I, I, I think it just goes to show like we wanted it to get the attention that it did this week, this week, the attention that it got, we, Aiden and I have been talking about, like, we, we've wanted this attention for the show the whole time, especially with the first three episodes. It lo- we love those episodes and it deserved that attention there. Um, and I remember we talked about it again, like we, we wished it had kept pace, but it, it didn't really. Um, and so to lead into this finale um i thought they handled it well with everything that needed to be talked about um there were some things that were still a little bit lacking for me um we talked a little bit before recording uh i said how the whole debacle of of, at the wedding and how that might have affected uh kamala's brother and his new wife uh and how they view kamala they, that wasn't really touched upon again, but granted they might've just been understanding because now they know that she's the nightlight um, girl. So maybe they just assumed it had something to do with that. And so 
that I'll give that a pass, but I loved, I like we got the Nakia stuff. That's something I've been ranting about the past two episodes that we never got a conclusion to um, was Nakia finding out that Kamala has powers and not really getting to deal with the emotional baggage of that all. And we did that this episode. And I, and I, and I liked that a lot. Uh, actually. Yeah. Uh, super a lot. Cause Kamala's like, she said she didn't want to tell her because she knows she doesn't like superheroes and she was worried she would hate her, that type of thing. But and then she said, I know you wouldn't hate me though. Um, it was an interesting inclusion to include Zoe all of a sudden. Yeah. I thought that was strange, uh, but it wasn't, I didn't hate it at all. It was like the, the TikToker crowd getting out there, you know, There's more, uh, more, more TikTokers in the MCU. Sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> next time you can hit one of us up, Marvel. Um, but uh, I, I liked that it took place in the in the high school. I thought that was cool. I thought it was like a really. This brought out the real like childlike joy of the show. I think that people were talking about early on in the series, like it was very like Home Alone type like setting up a trap for these people yeah. to come uh walk into uh and it was really sad like it was cool to see like i think the uh elephant toothpaste thing in the in the lab was super cool um shout out to anybody who watches mark rober's content knows what that is i guess <laughs> gigantic gushing stuff that all came out of the lab whatever um but no yeah it was like it was super cool i love how they all like dressed up in the same hoodie and stuff to uh try to throw off the department of damage control i also love that Comron wasn't the main villain of the episode which we had thought that they were going to try to do that last episode um i also what aiden mentioned about the pacing yeah uh the very the, like we talked about the end of the last episode the editing was so awful it was terrible and then you start this episode it's the same way him and Kamran running down the subway, and then all of a sudden it cuts to the Marvel logo and the Miss Marvel logo. And it's like, what are we doing? Why, why, why are we doing this right now? Um, just weird editing decisions, but overall, I still find it found it satisfying. I can officially say now that the series is over, I don't hate the powers, I don't hate the, the power change. I don't know if I welcome it. I don't think I'd like it more than seeing her traditional powers. Um but what they're able to do with it is still satisfying and I can still find enjoyment in watching it. Uh, the in big in moment was still super cool. Gave me, gave me some small amount of chills. Um, and I like that they kept her in that, like they didn't like in big in for two seconds and then make it go away. But she stayed in big in for a, a, a decent amount of time. I actually really like the costume. I know a lot of people say that. Oh, it's, it's so nice. dude. Yeah. A lot of people say it's over designed. I don't see it. I really, really, really love it a lot. Um, I maybe I guess I'm just one of those shills that people talk about, <laughs> I mean, I, dude. I mean, seriously, I, I don't see a problem with it. I've seen some way worse over designed suits in the past, and I, I mean, I don't even really see what's over designed about this necessarily. Maybe somebody could explain that to me, but um. Overall, like it just there was more things that I liked about this than I than I didn't like. And uh, like it brought that visual style back that I've talked about that I've been missing. Um, and I think and again, it, it they brought it in a very natural way as well. I will I will say that because I mean, like I think it was Aiden who originally said that like she's growing from that childlike wonder and she so it's not really doing that anymore, like the weird cool drawings and whatnot but now they let her do that again with this planning thing on the billboard well, not the billboard but the chalkboard and everything and that was super super cool so um we'll we'll touch on the uh the big uh mutant in the room a little bit later on <laughs> uh, no yeah that's those are like my overall thoughts on like little things throughout the episode and, you know I, I i still liked it it's just i don't know it wasn't that compelling to me for like for multiple reasons like Comron, the whole thing with his mom still don't find any emotion in that whatsoever um i don't find any draw to that um in the department of damage control as a whole is it's almost just like i don't know it i almost it it's bad to say that i as much as i'm like you know kind of like iffy on them it's bad to say that even with that uh 
I still kind of like them more than the clandestines. So yeah, and, and the clandestines were made to be the the villains this uh, throughout the entirety of the show. So um, yeah, it's I don't know. There's multiple places it, it falls down for me, but it's still better than episode four and five were in my opinion. Oh yeah, way better. I think I think I agree with you on there that the damage control, even though we got to see them for like half of the first two episodes and then half of this episode. Excuse me. Um, they're still way more compelling and, and way cooler villains than the clandestines, hmm. and I, I, it's just that's what I mean by it. it was kind of like a I don't know it was kind of like a mess because you have damage control in the first two episodes and you're like okay this is probably our big bad and then we tr you know transition to the clandestines for three episodes and then she's all the way in Pakistan for the for those episodes and then we come back to damage control and wrap up Kamran like I don't know there's just there was just different ways I feel like you could have done that um if you did want to keep Kamran for the end with that whole thing about him dealing with his powers and him kind of being like the um not the evil side of miss Mar of miss marvel or, or, or kamala but kind of like if kamala didn't care about killing people and um uh, you know stuff like that that version of her but i don't know it just like if you want to keep that in there i feel like you could have done that without um giving us the whole clandestine plot for half the season just to get rid of it in the penultimate episode um i don't know that's just that's just my thoughts on it i think it was just kind of messy with the whole villains and stuff that's the biggest letdown of the entire season and you know i feel like you could you should have just kept keep the show in new jersey have the overall villains be damage control have there be little stakes you know just have them coming after kamala and have kamala trying to run away from them while also trying to keep her identity a secret while also trying to deal with her powers and um, keep her family out of the loop all in, you know, all in one show. I think that would have been awesome, you know, seeing all that, keeping yeah. it grounded, keeping the stakes low. Um, that, yeah, I think that would have been a, a way better show, but you know, who am I to talk? Um, but the good in this episode, like I think the con, like like you said, it it brings back a lot of what what was so great about the first three episodes, um, like the the comedy and the family aspect and bringing up bringing back her friends and stuff. I think the the comedy in this episode was just hilarious, dude. I was dying at times, like when her brother was like, "Oh, so when you saved that kid at the Eid, like, did you do that on purpose or was that like a game time decision?" I was <laughs> like, "Bro." <laughs> <laughs> he had me dead um before we get into that though I, I will say i totally forgot to mention this so the mcu intro like the typical like dun, 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 dun. so for thor um watching thor i don't this isn't a spoiler like you know <laughs> but in the r in the marvel logo it had kamala in it and it, it had her standing like that with like her suit on and everything um but it didn't have it in this uh in the finale I, maybe that could just be like obviously this was made way before thor and they just like yeah. kept that in there but i thought it was cool that at least for thor they had kamala in the r and she takes up the whole r for like a second did, did they did they have moon knight in there as well or no because yeah. moon knight he was in the m yeah in, the, in this is he was he in there yes yeah, the so one too um, I think they had Moon Knight in the M and then Kamala in the R, um, like as soon as it's coming up like this. And then obviously oh Black Panther doing his little like power boost or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought it was like, it was super cool that they had Kamala in the R. I freaked out like next to my girlfriend. I was like, oh my gosh, look, they have Kamala <laughs> in there. And it was cool because they had her in her suit and this, yeah. and you know, Thor, that, that was last week. And so I was just kind of like, huh. You know, oh, we already got to see her suit, um, which I'm jumping around everywhere. But that that does bring me to something. I know for Falcon Winter Soldier, we never got to see his suit and we didn't get his suit until the last episode and then a tease of it in the fifth. And they kind of did the same thing with Miss Marvel, except for Miss Marvel. They had her like they marketed her in the suit. And so we already knew how her suit looked. There wasn't no big surprise. Um, maybe it's just like 
the mantle, you know, the Captain America mantle means, you know, so much, so much more to us fans. And it's a pass down from Chris Evans to, to um, yeah. Anthony Mackie or from Steve Rogers to um, Sam Wilson. So I thought that was cool, like the little parallels, but that for Miss Marvel, they kind of like already marketed her in everything in her suit. And then for Falcon and Winter Soldier, it was kind of that like, you know, after watching that fifth episode, I was like, no, come on, just put it on, put it on, put it on, show us. And then we had to wait a week. Um, so I thought that was that was kind of cool, the little uh, parallels between them two. Because they were on that cruise thing. Did you see that? Yeah, that cru- the little yeah, cruise. The little cruise thing. So yeah. Yeah, that was little... that, that cruise thing is like on a separate note, that cruise thing is actually really, really cool to me. Oh, I don't I know a lot of people were cringing at it, but I I like the Thanos reference to the, <laughs> I was like, what a perfect time to bring this up with the boys and everything. Oh Lord, yeah. Um, um but yeah, no, just yeah, seeing them interact. Yeah. yeah, that's all I was gonna say. Just seeing them interact and how similar, not similar, but like how suit wise how similar those two shows were but um yeah back to what i was i initially started off with yeah like the comedy and in, in this in this episode was just hilarious yeah like the little kid also on tiktok later uh, <laughs> where, where he's like i don't know why she like dropped me and broke my leg maybe i was like the beta test or something <laughs> Okay, this kid, this kid's awesome, man. Even oh, though he stole man. the shoes, which the, again, that was a cool catch that I didn't. I can't believe you caught that. Yeah. Way, way back to episode two, everybody. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, I think you're. I think you're right. And there's, there's again, there's elements to this whole episode that I really, really like, and um, one of them being uh, the sense of community as well that was yeah. brought in, like the. Because a lot, I know a lot of uh, complaints about superhero projects today is that they don't really include. Um, I guess this is more of like a film bro um, critique rather than like a general critique. But I, I actually understand this one because I and I think it's based uh, based in true, truly just wanting wanting it to be better and a better understanding of it all. But um, there's not really many civilians uh involved in these in these stories like um i just watched a video of um someone did like this deep dive on spider-man 2 and when they uh when they were doing that and talking about the civilians and how they're involved in that movie they showed a bunch of clips of superhero projects trying to get civilians out of the equation by like evacuating a building getting them out of uh the helicarrier or whatever whatever it may have been like they had quite a few different cuts to it all um and it was like wow it made me open my eyes like that okay that's that's kind of true and then the the whole point being though is that what are the superheroes for the superheroes are there to save people they are here to help people help i they they said serve us it like in that video i was watching which i i, I agree they are to serve us but i don't know i just don't like them they serve us like this <laughs> me um but no, at the end of the day, yeah, they are here to help us. So then to see them actually help people or, and then in turn, sometimes people help them. It's like Spider-Man like a, 2. Yeah, oh, exactly. you, Spider-Man you were 2 just saying, like, saying Spider-Man 2. No, that's but that's it. No, that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Yeah. I didn't even mention that, though, because that's you're right. That scene on the train and like yeah. that was here, too. That was essentially that as soon as once it's all over, Kamran's gone. Everybody runs up as soon as uh, Department of Damage Control tries to take Kamala in. They all gather around her, and like that was great yeah. stuff. That's 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 literally Spider Man too, and so yeah. like that's um, that type of stuff is is super cool to see. And I I kind of f- forgot for a while that that was something that I like until I just watched this uh, deep dive on Spider Man too. Um, yeah. Another thing I really like is that her mom gave her the costume. Um, like i don't know how she gets it uh, in the comics i'm not a big miss marvel uh comics person but yeah um just the way her mom was like embracing her finally it, like that's how i took it at like there she's finally understanding and um well i guess she she did say downstairs prior that she trusts kamala but this was like you made the costume for her you're in, like you're encouraging her to go out there and like do what's right you know and it was that was a really heartwarming moment for me i don't think i like got got chills or teared up or anything but it was still really 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 good stuff um and it's just another reason i like i i think overall this finale was satisfying more than it um kind of lacked yeah um one thing i wanted to touch on 
was uh Kamran after he leaves he goes and meets up with that red dagger guy in, in Pakistan I'm wondering if that's gonna be something later on like I imagine we can't just forget about Kamran completely like another superpower yeah. dude just chilling around everywhere um yeah I don't know how he might come back in the future if there's gonna be a Miss Marvel season two or uh, if she's gonna get her own movie maybe potentially yeah. hopefully I think that'd be cool um but because I'd love to, I'd, I want her to get her own movie because I just love to see how the writing would differentiate, like how how, how much it would improve or or anything like that. Because we've talked about this before with the with the shows, like they write them as movies and they, it doesn't always work out that way. Um, yeah. Like that's not, doesn't end up being the best way to, to write them. But I, I, th I think that'd be really cool. But yeah, I don't, I'm wondering how that's going to work out with apparently these two people that are supposed to hate each other are clandestine and the red daggers. So I don't know how that's going to work out. And I, yeah. I am intrigued to see potentially in the future. I don't know if we'll, I, I could see them not coming back for a long time though. Like there's not really a need to bring them back, but who knows? Marvel works in mysterious ways. Like with, this <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't know. My only guess would be like they they kind of start to form their own group um, at, in Pakistan. I know Red Dagger. I was reading a little bit about like him in the comics, and he's basically like the the Pakistani daredevil for like huh. for them. Like he like street crime, and like you know yeah. he handles all that, and he's like really good at throwing knives and stuff. So you know to kind of put their differences aside, kind of team up and. Um, have other people i think that'd be pretty cool and then eventually you could play it into like miss marvel and stuff and 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 something else but or maybe even like a young avengers um i don't know uh i'm sure they have a plan for it or else they wouldn't have done it in the first place just like they have a plan for this um ending scene but mm. Is there anything else you wanted to touch on before we be, we get out of here? I'm trying to look at my notes. Uh, I will say real quick, the whole like high school thing, having everyone pop up. I don't know why. I feel like that was something that like I was telling myself afterwards, like that was something I was supposed to not really like. But I did for some reason, you know, like yeah. seeing her brother pop Just, up and they're like, I agree. What are you doing here? And he's like, oh, mom told me to come look after you. <laughs> Make sure you're safe. And she's like, superheroes only chaperones. Um but yeah, I thought that was it, it, like in any other show. I feel like I would have been like, okay, what is this? Yeah, like, like too convenient. Me? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. But then for this, I was just like, <laughs> it's campy, you know. It's it's so convenient, but I like it, you know. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, but um, yeah. I don't think there's anything else that I uh, touched on the embiggen thing. I guess that moment with. Her and Kamran in the in her little crystal shield. <clears throat> that yeah. was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, it wasn't like anything too like we. I think we've seen better emotional moments from uh, Iman and yeah for in, sure. in, the, in the show for sure. But that was a that was a good moment for her. And um, oh, sorry, the uh, rooftop scene with her and her dad where she gets her oh, name. Oh, bro. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. that's real quick. Uh, I just, uh, sorry, I just want to say, because I thought of this when you were talking about her mom, like her mom gives her the suit and her dad gives her her, her name. And yeah. she was like, oh, that's just such a heartwarming moment. But yes, please talk about this beautiful moment because that's I super cool, actually, up. that you yeah. connected that. I didn't that. See, I didn't I didn't even think of that. <laughs> um, but no, I was <clears throat> I was really worried because like I could tell that that's where this scene was going because um, was it? Was it this scene or was it the next scene? Um, somebody asked her um, what her name is, and she said it like it's still a work in progress or something. It was, I um, think, uh, I think. Uh, oh, was that earlier on in the episode? I thought it had maybe been her dad. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But it uh, was it like super early on, and I just forget. Or I, I remember it cut from that question to. Uh, a scene in the in the high school i'm pretty sure i think it cut to like lockers i remember if i'm remembering correctly but either way somebody said that <clears throat> to her and i'm pretty sure it was her abu oh yeah it, so it was i'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm watching it right now he you said you're it? he said you're now the great superhero called called what and she said i'm still figuring it out and he said yeah. of course you are yeah yeah okay perfect then yeah and so um 
to have them come up on this rooftop like this and just uh I, I love I love that the that uh her Abu is getting like more more time to shine because especially after the first episode like his uh big emotional moment like I kind of you feel bad for him and then so to get him to come in and 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 shine and be like that I don't want to say hope for Kamala uh, yeah, yeah hope's definitely not the right word but like that um sense of comfort for her um when she finds out she's named she shares the name with carol danvers like (laughs) he's like um, i don't know who that is (laughs) the whole time i will say i was kind of like i was sitting there thinking of fan four stick and i was like how is this gonna Uh, work out is he just gonna say is he gonna say like you know comma you truly are just marvelous (laughs) i thought he was gonna do something like that and then she's like Oh my god! And, uh, uh, <laughs> um, but thankfully, they didn't do that. They gave it some. More, they gave it more emotion. They gave it more heartfeltness. They gave it more love. Um, they let you feel it too. They don't just like a convenient thing, you know. Um, and uh, obviously, I don't. I'm not gonna fact check it, but I, I assume Kamal actually does mean marvelous, you know. So, and that's that's really really cool. Um, not marvelous, but Marvel. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, in Urdu, excuse me. Um, I'm watching the scene right now. Um, yeah, but no, yeah, this was like a super like he's just in awe as well as she starts to get up and run away. Um, magical, yeah, like <laughs> I don't know. This whole scene, this is like one of the standout scenes of the episode for sure. I, I think it's it's probably better than her mom giving her the suit for me, anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, just because I, I, I really like the uh her abu as a character and just like get any time that he gets to shine and uh give his his acting shot like earlier like, speaking to the comedy actually too earlier in the episode where they're talking about and you know abu he's just always on speakerphone he's like speakerphone is just so convenient you know like dude this is like this is a banger right here like he's so he's so oh, good like that's i love him every time he's on he's the best, like bro yeah he's he's the character like the standout like comedic character, I guess, like what Korg was for Ragnarok, probably. I would I would mm-hmm. say that's that's him here, but also with the heartfeltness and the and the love that uh might have been lacking within that. Yeah. I love yeah, see, this is this is just good stuff. But I think that's yeah. the only thing I had before we touch on like the obvious elephant in the room. Yeah. Um, no, I will say, yeah, that was another just hilarious moment whenever she's like bracing herself up to tell them and she's like all right guys like you know i am nightlight and they're all like oh my gosh and like for me i was like oh oh like this is their genuine reaction but like for her she obviously knows and she's like did did uh ami tell you already yeah. <laughs> they're like what no i only told abu <laughs> yeah uh dude oh she said i'm the light girl it's so funny um it was just hilarious just seeing her her family's reactions and yeah <laughs> it's just so like her brother goes oh my god i had no idea <laughs> yeah and they they really brought like the comedy and like the family elements and like you said abu is an amazing standout it's just yeah it was amazing um and then yeah obviously her brother saying did you even really like british bake-off <laughs> yeah no that was super like so you're not cousin comrade huh <laughs> <laughs> they're just oh like her family is the funniest part of this show and it's like they're not trying to be you can tell that's just how they are you can tell that's how ami and abu are you can tell like that's just them um and i just i absolutely love it this is my favorite part of the first three episodes which is why when we got away from it i was kind of bummed but to have it all come back this episode is just amazing um yeah all right, let's talk about the first mutant in the yeah. MCU, Kamala Khan. It's why actually you, crazy. Why don't you give us your thoughts? Well, I, I will say I was really expecting Namor to be the first mutant um, mm-hmm. in the MCU because uh, off concept art, they got released and stuff. You could see he has the wings on the back of his heels, um, and that's not a part of his suit. That's actually something that he has on him which is like he was a mutant in the comics and comics and everything. <clears throat> I'm just going off of what I hear people say. I'm not a comic nerd, but <laughs> like, so that, that kind of confirms that the MCU Namor is going to be a mutant because of those wings on his feet. So I was like, okay, this is, this is the first time we're going to get a mutant in the MCU. And then 
freaking Kamala Khan. As soon as he said mutation, dude, I literally freaked out. I was like, oh, the, the, the theme, bro. <laughs> the, dude, oh. the music, bro. The music got me, man. That dude. was yeah. Instant walk us, chills. walk us through your thoughts during, during that. That's um, the... I will say I kind of got it spoiled for me. I didn't get the actual like moment itself spoiled for mm. me, but um, someone uh, had tweeted out so mutants okay i don't hate it and i was like what is that so that was kind of left to wonder um but then so so i still kind of got the full effect of the moment but uh it was really cool like the scene was the scene itself was super super cool like you have a sort of mutation dude i loved it man it was so good instant chills but um you know i i don't i don't have a certain attachment to kamala and the inhumanness within her uh in the comics and whatnot uh so i don't hate this decision i know a lot of people do uh, i've been seeing stuff on twitter and whatnot um i don't hate it i don't know if i like it but i'm excited to see where it goes like my only thing is like i just are we getting rid of inhumans completely because it's like why did we in i know it was an alternate universe but why did we include uh black bolt in multiverse of madness you know uh, why do we tease that if we're not going to like touch on that later on? Um, I don't know. It's it's definitely cool. Like the first actual mention of mutants, the first like acknowledgement of them, the first like word. I think it's the first time we've heard the word mutation yeah, or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. So like a huge moment for the MCU as a whole. Uh, and I'm glad that it was in this in these tv shows because a lot of the i know a lot of people say these tv shows don't mean anything so that was cool to me as well um and you know we've harped on the tv shows enough as it is uh, yeah. but i still think they they definitely matter to the overall story but so that was really that was really it was a really really cool moment um but to see where it goes from there i still wonder because like if she's a mutant she still needs these the bangle for the power she has she still wears it to to do all this stuff so i don't know how that's gonna play in like is she just gonna end up like comron and eventually get these powers naturally or what um because why make her a mutant if she still just has to wear this thing that gives her these powers yeah um obviously i'm sure they have a plan we'll have to wait and see i don't know if it'll be answered in the marvels but uh hopefully yeah because i love i love to get answers sooner than later but um as long as it like Obviously, it'll make sense. I just I don't know if it'll be satisfying uh, enough um, yeah. for me. But so, yeah, this leads me to like, I mean, obviously, um, we have Comic-Con coming up and like there's lots of rumors about what's going to be there. And now that we've officially had mutants mentioned in the MCU, um, <sighs> we might get a big tease. Who knows? To some X-Men oh, project uh, for at Comic-Con. I don't know. Or they might save that for D23. But either way, this yeah. year we're definitely getting some acknowledgement of the uh, of X Men stuff, other than the '90s, '97 animated show that's being brought back or whatever. So exactly, yeah, dude. Oh, it's it's hype, bro. Like I know I I made a video a while back saying that like I was upset that they didn't keep her in Human Origins, um, and I still kind of was, but I was only upset because I was like, please don't make her just like a regular you know normal kid that gets these powers you know if if you're not going to do inhuman do something so for them to go the mutant route it's like oh this is different <laughs> but like i like you know it's okay okay yeah i'll, I'll take yeah. it um i kind of like it right now just because it's like you know give us all the mutants you know so um i'm riding with it i think the scene was awesome it does set up a ton for the future of the mcu um yeah we'll see kamala back with carol danvers and monica rambo in literally a year so yeah. um that's super cool and we'll get to see like you know the the fallout of all of this and her finding out she's a mutant pretty soon so yeah i'm all for it i think it's a cool decision you know not everything has to be comic accurate you know we don't always have to as far as we know like there's infinite universes there could be a universe where literally everything's comic accurate you know they, but this is our universe so um i think it's cool uh i'm still kind of confused why they hate the inhumans so much but you know whatever <laughs> we'll we'll ride with it so yeah i it, it was a shocking moment i didn't get this spoiled for me um so i was like 
able to go into this blind and and absolutely be like holy and there was no leaks that ever said anything about her becoming a mutant so yeah. i think that's super cool that i got to you know see this blind and, and get my genuine reaction but one thing i did get spoiled for me is what happens in the post credit scene so that's about it we have on the mutant stuff right yeah i don't i don't i don't have much else to add i don't think it's just you know i Again, and I think actually what you said about the comic accuracy thing, I feel like a lot of people, they they watch these things and they have like this checklist of comic accuracy <laughs> check and then like comic, if it's not, then it's bad. And it's like, I mean, yeah. it can be good. It can be good without it being comic accurate. And I, I just, you know, I, I, I feel like it's yet to see if this is going to be necessarily good um, because all it is right now is it's a label. She said it herself. Yeah. It's a, it's another label. Uh, and so it's like, we don't know where this goes yet. Maybe she'll be an X-Men. That'd be kind of cool. I don't oh, know. Wow. But, it'd be different. Um, yeah. yeah, it'd be different. Like, that's the thing. Like, you don't want to, I don't want to like, look, at, not that I even look at the comics myself. I, obviously I don't, I don't, uh, well, I do look, I do read comics, but just, I yeah. haven't read Miss Marvel comics. Um, I don't look at the comics and then immediately go and be like, you know what? I want to see this exactly like this on the screen. It's like, that'd be cool. Sure. But it's like, okay, I know exactly what's going to happen then. And yeah. so there's no excitement there versus now Kamala is a, a mutant. Now she's not an inhuman. This is like, I'm in, you know, someone's the, from the outside looking in that might sound one and the same, but they are different. I promise you they're different. Um, yeah. And so it's, I'm excited. I'm excited to see where it goes. I, I hate the over leniency on comic accuracy. There's places where um, you could argue it and there's places where it, it doesn't really necessarily need to be argued. And right now I don't think an argument can be made for it should have been comic accurate because we don't even know where this is going to go yet. So, yeah, um, I completely agree. Um, I guess we'll just wait and see, you know, we, like I said, we got the next time we'll see, we'll see Kamala on the uh, big screen will be in a year. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, next July with Monica Rambeau and Carol Danvers, who, spoiler alert, shows up in a post credit scene, seemingly huh. like switching places with her. Yeah. Um, man, what the hell? I was I was like, what? Like, let's go. I got to spoil it for me. But still to see it like um, on, on screen and uh, it was just so cool. Like. You know, we've had our fair share of thoughts on the Captain Marvel movie and like the character, but still to see her come back and to, to see her again was awesome. I think it was super cool. I, I had the same reaction when she was in the post credit scene for Shang-Chi. Um, so, you know, and, and which also fuels that a little bit more. So new suit too again. Yeah, yeah. New suit and a new hairdo. She she has the long hair back. She looks awesome. Um, she looks amazing. So. I will say that um, a lot of people were thinking that Kamala shape shifted into her, or whatever, like because she apparently she does that in the comics. She can shape shift and everything, but I think I think they traded places. I think they were messing with the bangle or something. I guess I think that that maybe. Monica Rambeau and, and Carol Danvers maybe found the Bengal or, or whatever, and we're messing around with it and switch places. So maybe Kamala's in space, Carol Danvers is in her room, and that's where we start off the Miss Marvels, yeah. um, the movie. So I don't know. Either way, it was super awesome to see Carol Danvers back and, you know, yeah. just popping up in her room of all places. No, 100%. I was like, that what you said about the shape shifting thing, that's immediately what I thought. I thought she shape shifted and I was like, Oh, okay. So that's like, that's like the comic. Cause that from the little, I do know of the comic. Um, that's like the comic. So she can shape shift. That's kind of neat. But then just the way she was reacting, like if she was, if she did shape shift, why would she be so like, what the hell around my own room? You yeah. Know, that type of thing. Yeah. So definitely think they swapped places um, instead. And plus also the clothing wouldn't, that wouldn't make any sense either um, yeah. if she just shapeshifted. So, um, but no, yeah, I like this is, I think this is definitely what's going to start the Marvels. Um, that's where like we're going to leave, begin with these, these swap bodies and not swap bodies, but swap places. And then uh, Captain Marvel uh, is, 
I can't remember Carol. I just said her name earlier. Carol yeah. is gonna wonder like how did she end up here, and then Kamala is gonna be like, I, I I'm assuming that uh, Carol was on that ship that Nick we saw Nick Fury on um, at, in the Far From Home post credit scene. Yeah. Um, but you know that's I mean because that's the only way that I guess Kamala would survive probably yeah. if, if she was up in space. Um, and because I imagine that's going to be a very like cosmic movie, um, the Marvels. Um, yeah. So I think this is definitely what is going to catapult the beginning of it. Um, but, you know, they've been known to like make us think like this is what's going to start something and then have it like be completely different or opposite of what we would have thought before. Um, so I don't know. I like it's it's super exciting, though. And I, I think it's cool because. Uh, I, I think it, I think you mentioned a couple times throughout the show you were just like in in passing and joking you were just like oh get get, uh, get ready to tune in and see uh, Captain Marvel in the post credit scene the finale or something um, and it oh. actually, I, and it actually happened now so yeah. I mean which again like it's still really cool to see um, but you know we probably like could have seen this coming you know um, it just makes sense uh, granted it's not the way I would have thought it was going to happen I thought. She was going to like fly down and see like, oh, your suit kind of looks pretty similar to mine. That's kind of that's kind of funny. I uh, heard there's somebody yeah. here with super. I, that's how I thought it would have went. But yeah, um, clearly not. But I, hey, I'm happy for Kamala. She's going to be meeting her idol here soon. So, oh, yeah, uh, that's going to be super hype. Um, yeah, we also know Monica Rambeau's in space based off the post credit scene in WandaVision yep. with the scrolls and everything. We can only imagine that Nick Fury and, and Carol Danvers are up there as well. Um, and now maybe kamala in place of carol amber so i think that'd be super cool i can just imagine like how hilarious it'll be when we start off like let, like let's say we start off with the miss marvels right where we open in the opening scene is carol danvers running downstairs and running into uh ami and abu <laughs> i mean like what the and like we get to see them on the big screen we get like some more of that comedy and stuff from them um I think that would be hilarious. And then eventually getting back to space and tackling whatever it is they need to tackle, which is starting to make me think that like maybe Miss Marvel, the Marvel's movie will be a lot more important to like the future of the MCU than we think, like with the whole Bengals and everything and like yeah. the 10 rings from Shang-Chi, like a dude, I wouldn't be surprised if we got confirmation at Comic-Con or D23 that um, Shang-Chi is going to be in the, the Marvel's as well. Um, and you know maybe bruce banner all kind of studying the rings and the bangles to kind of like piece together what it is um because they were sending out a beacon for something that was really big that they didn't want to tell us um and so yeah i think i think the marvels could kind of be a big um you know bigger than we think it might be you know right yeah. now in terms of the future of the mcu so awesome post credit scene like i couldn't have asked for more out of um, out of that um sure we all kind of expected it to come but you know i there's a lot of people like in every episode like oh so and so could show up in in this episode so so and so <laughs> can show up in this show so obviously it made sense for carol to show up in here but you know you never really know because we have we've been having these predictions all year but <laughs> yeah. um nothing ever comes of it so it was it was nice to finally see something uh come out of it so i was, yeah. I was i'm down for it i'm super excited for the marvels i have been but this um i have been already but this kind of like just amplified it a, a, a bit and it sucks it's a, it's a year out but you know whatever it's, it, it is what it is but i'm super i'm still like just the the, the idea of three different miss marvels or captain marvels just hanging out together like that's just yeah. super cool um and i think the title is super cool too the marvels it's like that's such a sick title um but i'm looking at the post credit scene for shang chi here and yeah she has a different suit even from that you know it's like wow. I, so it, it makes me wonder like i don't know where the especially with bruce being how he is i don't know where the post credit scene of shang chi takes place versus like where does She-Hulk take place, and where is Marvel's going to take place? True. Um, there's so many questions. I mean, obviously, we'll have the She-Hulk one answered. I know a lot of people think that She-Hulk takes place during the blip, since Bruce yeah. is still Hulk, and in Shang-Chi, he is not Hulk anymore. But yeah. I think that device on his arm 
uh, lets him switch back and forth somehow. But yeah, I don't know. That's all up in the air. Now I'm talking about random, random stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, we'll we'll get our answer soon. You know, uh, we'll get some answers here in a couple months. Some answers here, maybe even in two weeks with Comic Con, and then uh, yeah. some more answers next year when the Marvels comes out. So I'm super excited. <sighs> um overall thoughts on the show you know it had a really strong start and i had high hopes for it and it really i'd say first three episodes really good and then the next two following really just kind of eh, and then the last one pretty good not quite up to the level of the first three for me but still pretty good um so overall i I wanted I wanted this show to be my favorite. I really did, especially after the first three. Um, but it just it it didn't it didn't get there. Um, overall rating, I guess I would give it probably a a good eight, good eight out of ten, probably. Like it was satisfying. Um, even the episodes that I didn't that we didn't like, it still had some stuff in it that were like good enough to cling on to. Like with the partition stuff and uh, in the last one, and um, just the Pakistani culture as a whole in the episode before that, um, it was just cool. It, it was cool to see um, villains super lackluster all around. Even Department of Damage Control for the time that they were there, it just wasn't. It was like just faceless beings almost. Obviously, it had yeah. the the leader that that woman, which she probably has some like. Um, they were, I think they were definitely trying to show us that she has like some um biases and some uh like I'm forgetting the word um discri- discriminatory um discriminations I guess uh yeah. it, essentially and so like especially uh, oh that reminds me actually I love that scene with the uh in the mosque when he's uh the sheik is like giving that quote um, and then mm-hmm. she's like I don't have time for your uh Quran quotes or something like that and then he said, "Actually, that's Abraham Lincoln." Like, Damn, you got her good, bro. You got her good. Yeah. Um, well, dude, but- he he also had a <laughs> he also had a damn hot dog filter on at the end. Of oh that. yeah, that- <laughs> <laughs> and I am now a hot dog. Uh, this is interesting. Um, no, yeah, like there was there was a lot to love about this uh, this episode. Um, now that I gave the whole season ranking, this episode ranking. I'd probably um about it, yeah. Actually, yeah, I'd rate I'd rank this episode about the same as the series. About an eight. Like it, it had more more good to it than bad for sure. So um it's just uh I don't know. It, it landed a lot better than I thought it would, especially after the last episode. Um and I feel like the said the same could be said for for Moon Knight. Maybe I need to stop like counting these shows out before the finale because that's what i said for moon knight too was that they had too much to wrap up and but the finale of moon knight was still satisfying in a sense so i don't know overall i'm i mean i'm kind of sad that this series gone we're not going to get another episode every week but um i'm excited for kamala to continue on and uh fighting the big leagues now so we'll have to see where this where it goes yeah, I'm I'm about right there with you. I think like a solid eight, high seven out of ten. Um, the highs are really high and the lows are just really low. Um, same for this this episode. I think you know solid eight, high eight out of ten. I thought I had a ton of fun with this episode. Um, amazing, you know, amazing wrap up. You know, with with how much stuff that we thought was going to be left on the floor, they kind of brought it all together in a in a nice way. So, yeah, I hope the formula changes sometime soon, you know, for yeah. for some of these shows we're going to start getting um, after She-Hulk. But I don't know. Um, overall, it, w- it was a fun show. I was hoping to come out of this saying that this was like my absolute favorite. Um, it's still up there, you know. I, yeah. I think I'd probably have it around like four maybe four three um yeah but regardless like it's a fun show it's much needed i wouldn't go as far as saying we didn't need it um 
I had a ton of fun with it. I had a ton of laughs with it. It was hilarious. It gives us a lot of stuff to look forward to. So overall, yeah, decent, decent MCU show. Um, it does what these other shows have done. So I'm all for it, you know, um, and I'm excited for She-Hulk, you know, I hope we get some answers there for everything going on and um, definitely excited for the shows coming after it. See, see what, what's changed and what hasn't. Um, and for Comic-Con coming up, see if we get some answers there. So um, those are my thoughts on Miss Marvel. That is better Charlie's than Moon Knight. I'm just wondering, really, do you really think so? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Interesting. Maybe. I mean, actually, episode five of Moon Knight is really, really good. But, um, like, like really good. I think yeah. it kind of makes the whole series for me. But I think overall, I think it had it was more consistent with Moon than than Moon Knight for me. But okay, I think I think I'd still have Loki at one, Moon Knight at two. Um. It's hard. I think I like Miss Marvel more than Hawkeye. Um, I'd probably put WandaVision at three, Miss Marvel at four, Hawkeye at five, Falcon Winter Soldier at six. Not anything against Falcon Winter Soldier. I mean, it's like up there with Hawkeye, and um, it's just like, you know, what can you do with the formula that, you know, these shows have been giving us? Right. What if, uh, what if this show didn't exist? <laughs> That's all I say. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. WandaVision is really growing on me. You know, it's it was super strong up until the finale, but even the finale doesn't like completely ruin it for me. Um, there's still a lot of really bad things from the finale, but overall, like, I was having a ton of fun with the show. It's the most like. I think WandaVision and Loki are the only shows that had me going like, what is going on? Like, what will happen next episode? Those are the only two MCU shows that really had me hooked in like that. Um, so, you know, I got to give credit where credit's due. So flame me for that. I don't care. But either way, like Miss Marvel is high up there. You know, it's a good show. It, it deserves yeah. a praise. Um, I do wish they could have done a, a couple of things differently, but, oh, well, you know, can't get everything you want. Um, which, yeah, that brings us to what's coming up. So we got a Stranger Things wrap up. Hopefully we can get that up soon. Uh, a Thor video up soon. A lot of things have been happening. I just vacation, oh. me and Ben's vacation just happened to land on like the worst time possible. <laughs> so, uh, we were able to get the boys episode up because like that one was a must do. Yeah, so, that's a, got to, got to. Yeah. So I, we got that one up. Um, but we got maybe a Stranger Things video soon, Thor wrap up, a Thor movie uh, review soon. Um, Comic Con is next Saturday. We're recording this on the Wednesday of July 13th. Um, so next Saturday, we got Comic Con. Probably hop in here for a big live stream, just chop it up, talk about the future of the MCU, maybe some other shows, maybe some other movies, um, and all while getting some news coming in from comic-con from people live tweeting the event so it's gonna be super excited got a lot of ideas coming up because you know like i said for the next month we're kind of in a down down period which we <laughs> haven't we haven't experienced that since we started the podcast because we had one news episode for um she hulk and deadpool and then the thor trailer came out and then the boys came out so mm. um you know we got some fun things, you know, try some things out. And uh yeah, I'm super excited. So uh Charlie, is there any last minute thoughts? Close? Mm -hmm. No. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um we appreciate you guys. We we see the love. Like um our boys episode, episode seven, is doing doing really good, way better than any of our other videos on YouTube <laughs> anyway. Um, so thank you guys. Uh, we appreciate you. Um, um, I just found out, I, I think I knew about this before probably, but I completely forgot, but there's a boys spinoff show coming out. Yeah. Varsity. Yeah. We're going to cover that for sure. For sure. You can bet we'll be there. I don't know when it's coming out, but we'll, 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 we'll be there to cover each episode for sure. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah thank you guys so much um we're gonna have more content coming your way it is a down period uh for us coming up here but uh we're, we're going to still cover like the news that's coming out, that type of thing. Maybe some like fan cast stuff, all that type of stuff, all that fun, fun, fun stuff. So, yeah, don't, don't go anywhere. Keep it locked. Keep liking, keep subbing, keep hitting the notification bell. All if you're on YouTube, um, if you're on Spotify, give us a rating. We appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, and we'll just keep coming at you. Keep bringing the stuff every week. We're not stopping. So, yep. Just because it's down period does not mean we are slowing down. So um, expect to see us maybe in a couple days uh, for sure next week. And definitely Saturday, July 23rd at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for uh, Comic-Con. And so we'll be here live test it out i don't know i'm kind of nervous see, see what goes on maybe we get zero viewers the entire time maybe we <laughs> pop off bro who knows so either way it'll be fun um and obviously it'll be posted right after so anyone who wants to go back and watch it um, i'm sure we'll be able to get a lot of reaction clips from it um to the news and stuff so either way it'll be a ton of fun um hopefully i've been on so yeah um but that about wraps up our miss marvel season finale discussion got a lot of fun things coming up either way be sure to stick around check out the channel check out the video show any type of love any type of support don't matter we accept all of it so with all of that being said we will catch you in the next video peace adios